All right guys, so today we're gonna be doing a Unistrut DIY bed rack. I've seen a bunch of these on YouTube. I've definitely wanted to do one for a long time. So let's get to it. All right, I guess to start, I'll go through the whole supply list for y'all first. I'm gonna grab y'all right here. So I kind of worked backwards for this. So we started with my idea. I'll pop up my little idea drawing for my bed rack. Oh, one piece, 12 gauge. See, she's a little thicker. And two pieces of 14 gauge, a little thinner. 14 gauge is gonna go on the side walls. Gonna make up like that side. 12 gauge is gonna go cross beams on top. Hey, I'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So we had three of those. How I did it is I need four right angle brackets or L brackets and just counted all these holes it adds up to 30 so I got 30 things of hardware for everything 30 cone nuts 30 3 8 by 16 by 2 inch bolts 30 washers and coat it all off we're gonna do some truck bed liner just to keep it safe all right we're gonna grab these off set them off to the side real quick Right here. All right, and the first thing I need to do is we're gonna take these things off, and if I can get you to see under there, they're like double sided taped. So it's time for the heat gun, which that's gonna be just a bitch. Well, no heat gun here, so either gonna cut to me. In a montage, ripping this thing off with a screwdriver, or cut to me with a heat gun. And when minutes later, I went to Home Depot because that was awful. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna get the best angle of this, but <laughs> real time, let's see how this goes. I can at least get under this piece here. not completely destroy this thing if it's possible but that's why I'm not just flipping it backwards and ripping her out it's going it's not easy but it's going I'm probably just gonna for the rest of this. No heat gun though. I think I can get it. <laughs> Whew. Okay. I'll promise I'll time out the other one from the top of my roof to show you. But I got it off. Maybe destroyed a little bit, but I got it off. Just double sided tape here. I'm gonna have to mineral spirits this off or slowly work it off something. Cause yeah, that ain't fun. Alright, but let's do this side. They're gonna be up here watching me. Like I said, you really shouldn't be doing it when you're flipping it over and ripping it up like that, but God, it's just so much easier. It would take me like three times as long if I had done it and you're just preserving those pieces of thing. 
Okay, well we've progressed a little. Uh, yeah, got a bunch more stuff out here. So what I've gone done done is taking one of these 14 gauge pieces and cut it down. So these pieces pretty much like so. There's gonna be a cross beam that goes across. We're gonna have some pieces that go like so. Cross them out and across. Other side as well. But that's all not cut yet. So we're still working on it. We're still bringing how many of this in here. Oh, big thing right now. So these are just like measuring pieces, little tiny pieces. That's how it's getting the right way. So those are the tools I already had. That's how it's getting mounted into the truck. Problem is, when I go straight up from here, and then my bed. So we're cutting holes, kind of right where this tape is missing. Got to line it all up and everything. All right, it is freaking dirty style. I'm going to lay down in the truck. We're gonna put you all over here. See what I'm doing over here. All right, we're gonna take our little shorty piece. Let's see, I just gonna be a little yanky. Don't want anything to fall in my eyes. Derpy. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to take this, hold it just about where I want. I'm not going to be able to get to these from the bottom. Ah! Alright, that wasn't you, we're good. And then, let's kind of eyeball it because that's where I'm at right now. Flash up against there. If y'all can hear what sounds like rocks being thrown, it's just uh, Texas and winter or fall, I guess is what y'all call this. Uh, acorns fall off of trees and they attack us. My driveway is perfectly situated under two oak trees. I have been nailed many times today. It's very scary laying down on us. So they got some precious goods. Target area. Alright, I'm just putting simple marks. Where I think everything should go. Oh god, I can't get to the back. Oh no, no, no! Oh, there is something back there. Oh my god. This is not easy. Oh, I could have done this a better way, but, you know, it's not fun. Alright, whatever. I like decent. Alright. Sharpie. So, let's see if I can tell. Oh, I did! Very little tiny faint marks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, side, side, back. Cut that glare off of there. Right, right there. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those books right now. Uh, the plan is to kind of, I don't, maybe I don't know, drill up from the bottom so I have a direction of where I need to go. And then cut it out back from the top so it's easier to take those off the <laughs> flares. Uh, we'll see. Alright, don't be mad. It's the next morning. Ran out of daytime. Went to, I had to go to Home Depot. They didn't have anything I wanted. Went to Lowe's. They didn't have the other things that I wanted. So I had to just kind of do some stuff. Alright, but progress has been made. Look at that. We have made some progress. I have... All right, the holes drilled. We got a jigsaw next. That's where we're at. All that done. See if the camera stays on for a little longer this time. All right, one rough hole cut with the jigsaw. Next hole to be cut. 
I would let y'all watch this, but I have no way to mount this anywhere where y'all can watch it that y'all won't fall halfway through me cutting it. So, good luck. All right, guys. So we finished it. Didn't really video that much of it, so we'll see how this video goes out. But I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna tell you what I measured on everything, tell you how everything kind of perfectly worked out, all my steps I took. We're gonna make sure they'll know what I did. Took me about three weeks, two weeks, maybe, who knows. All right, so let's talk about getting the bed ready. So my idea was to get these Unistrut racks behind these bolts, behind this bracket that I already had in this bed. And we're gonna go straight up, and it's gonna come up and it's gonna connect all to this. So I had to drill these out. So I've drilled four holes in my bed. If we can go up under, you'll see that it's not professional quality work. I bought some of this uh, rubber stripping off of Amazon, put them all around it. Looks decent, inside still a little, not completely together, but you know. So we did all four of those. I had to buy new bolts here. These are eight dash one bolts. These ones, I think I did 45 millimeters. And these ones right in the back are 80. Did 70 at first, they weren't too long enough. Now I did 80. I have these right here, they're just random pieces of pipe that I've put in that are holding this on, little extra support so it doesn't bend this metal too much. My bracket that I already have. So we had four of those on each side. Oh, I had to get new washers. Those weren't anything wild or something. They are some Imperial washer because I didn't buy a metric washer. I just went down the aisle and saw what fit. All right, and then onto the Unistrut that we've actually used here and all these measurements and stuff. So it's called Unistrut or Super Strut is actually what I think this is technically called. It has its name on here somewhere. Oh yeah, you probably can't see it. Uh, Unistrut, I bought two 14 gauge pieces. That's these little thin pieces right here. And one 12 gauge piece. I think those are the right ones for it. They're all 120 inches in length gonna be important in a minute I'll tell you why and I measured what I needed cut them sprayed them put them on here so these two back ones I believe are almost two feet exactly they're 23 and a half I found out the distance between like I dot I dot the full whole thing right there is about two inches so I just cut off like half of one right here at the bottom. You can see the other one. I just had to cut off that because I didn't want to hit it onto this metal right there, not making it straight. So two 23 and a half 14 gauge ones. And then these, I want to say they were 30, the ones on the back. They're a little longer. You can kind of see that front one doesn't go down as much. This close one, back one here, does a, uh, goes almost all the way down the bed. So these are 30 inches. Okay, and then all four of those posts, we did three of these, which like is where that important factor comes up. Between these bolts, perfectly like 40 inches. Well, I guess not between the bolts, add another like inch on each side, but 40 inches. So that means I got to cut this bar into three 40 inch pieces, and I didn't even plan on having this middle strut right here but since i had the extra 40 inch piece i got really lucky and definitely just threw that one in the middle because why the heck not extra support extra storage who knows what all right and then to attach everything i'm gonna put my face right here we get brackets so kind of let's get y'all to see there's one 90 degree bracket that's this one that comes out or L bracket maybe. And then we'll call this one the 90 degree bracket that goes straight across. So they're kind of stacked on top of each other and bolted through with, I think they're called nylon, nylon nuts, cone nuts, something like that. They come with all this super strut stuff right next to it, bought a bunch of those. So I got the 90s and the L brackets. So you can see that's L bracket, that's the 90 bracket. 
That's how I put these top ones on, bolted on through again. So this top two bars, once again, 120 inch length, that's 60 inches. That's perfectly in half. That is amazing how lucky I got. So we just got two 60 inch pieces. And then we got those across, bolt them on. And then, like I said, I realized I had this extra piece. I got just two T-brackets from Home Depot as well. Same place you get all the other ones. Same cone nuts, nylon cone nuts in there and everything. And just put this baby across. And this thing is sturdy, gentlemen. Let me let me tell y'all. I can just take a pop a squat right here, no problem. This is ain't nothing. I can come oh stand all the way up here. Reach whatever I need on top. This thing ain't going anywhere. For a DIY Home Depot bed rack, it's freaking awesome. Let's not fall. Oh. Also acts like as a handle to help me get up to the bed. Like it's, I love this thing. This thing is so cool. Uh, money well spent. Speaking of which, total price, I will say conservatively or liberally going on the high end let's say four hundred dollars first time i went to home depot was less than 300 and that was all the unistrut most of the brackets most of the bolts most of everything i needed i've probably spent maybe another 100 bucks at home depot maybe a little more maybe four to five hundred dollars so but heck for diy man i'll take that all day that's awesome all right let's see what else other information i can think of for y'all and put it in the video as well otherwise thank y'all for watching have a great day